Hi all. In this video, we will see how we can write an expect script to edit the etc host entries in all the cluster nodes. Suppose you have a, a cluster set up with some servers, unique servers, and you want to edit all the etc host in all the servers uh, from a single script. So for that, you can write an expect script something like this. So what I have done is I have written, I have entered all my IPs of the cluster in one file. So this is my cluster entries, all the IPs I have put it in one file and then I have written an expect script uh, which will read this file and uh, it will uh, loop and then try to change the etc host accordingly. So here this is the script. So what you can do is the first part is replacing uh, any text using a CD. So here I am reading the file open uh, IPS. So this is the file which opens the file and the file pointer fp so this will be point uh, then we are getting the file pointer to line line variable so the first line will be read and then uh, you are uh, doing ssh so you are spawning ssh to dollar line so dollar line is nothing but the first ip so first ip entry in the file is so it will log in into that file uh, sorry that machine a uh, unique server and then it will run this scd command so what is the scd command doing so if there is an entry like this and you want to uh, change it to this so you can just uh, replace it with a cd command so this is the replace command and it calls the etc host file you can see that it is calling etc host file so you are just logging using ssh into the ip whichever you first ip it gets it logs into that using ssh and then it will do an scd replace so it will search for a string and replace with the new string in the etc host file so when you do ssh you can expect a password so when it asks for a password you are sending the password here so you are uh, just sending the password so whatever is the password of your machine you just send that so this is a dummy password what i have written here so this is the password which will be uh, sent to that session so this is the first entry so then it will be looped in a while loop so until the end of the line so the second then it goes to the second ip then again it runs on the second machine uh, similarly all the contents in all the servers will be replaced so this is the replace using a cd so any text you want to replace uh, with some with one text or another text you can use this cd command so here uh, this is the expect script with a cd command so suppose you want to insert a line to the end of the etc host so suppose you want to uh, enter this in the etc host at the end of the line so the same loop you can use the same loop but instead of uh, a cd you can use echo so here we are using echo then the whatever line you want to print and then append it to the etc host file so this will be looped with again it will be looped to with all the ips in the ip file and it will uh, append the line to the end so this is for inserting a line to the end of the etc host or any other file for that matter then comes last if you want to delete any line the last line suppose i want to delete the last line etc of uh, etc host then again you loop it and instead of uh, echo you can use again scd then minus i then quotes single quotes dollar d etc host so what happens is so dollar d is nothing but delete the last line so this this a cd statement uh, command will delete the last line in the uh, etc host file so this is how you can replace a text in the etc host file the second will insert any line to the end of the file if you want to delete the last line in the file you can use this so similarly whatever operations you want to do you can do using this cd command in the expect script by using ssh login to the ip so if you just, just do spawn ssh and the ip name followed by the command it will log in into that uh, using ssh and it asks for the password so here you are already specified the password so this is nothing but it will automatically log in and it will uh, close the session and then it will again loop into the next server so this is how this expert script is very helpful if you want to edit any uh, file from one server uh, like a master and you can control all the uh, servers from one script from one expert script i hope this video is helpful to all 
I will be uploading such more such videos uh, and trainings on expert script and SED in uh, Unix. Uh, uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye. Thanks.